this is a squeeze type trade, um, about a million. And this gap is closed up here now. And that 78 support that we said will likely be today's support here can drive to any high. <coughs> This gap is now closed. This one is abandoned for now, and the market has been playing games with both sides. With both sides trying to claim victory, and, and everybody up here screaming and yelling, "Hey, you know, blah blah blah." Now the the shorts down here, you know, are still wanting everything. We said yesterday, 62 and a half support. Can't break 62. Not going any place. 62 and a half. Just follow the system. Very, very, very simple system. We look for evidence of things like this this morning. Okay, 73. That's it. Can't get by 73. We're not going low. And today, game what we said was largely to get in and fight in this zone, and I said. The other part of the equation is how much of the, the newly acquired territory can be maintained by the end of the day. So that's still part of it. And this is a this is a dignity trade by the by the long side. So they've had a terrible, terrible month. And this is pushing back trying to get it at least reasonable. And it's also partially profit taking from you know monthlies who want to take their profits. And the last one out loses. So yesterday this minor low we said is a be careful, is a one, two, three lower low, even if we got to past sixty four to the sixty two and a half, you had to be careful and then overnight this was protected and jammed in here, but you can see we're still running into, you know, this 120 chart. This is a very steep angle. Throwback line is actually up just a little bit higher. And once once we turn the corner, I said we can run to any high today, you know, if we got above that 81. So this this would be the key battle. And we did pick 78 for support, so. Anybody that's got that that trade under your belt, that's a great uh, great trade. Coming into lunchtime, so you know, got a few trap shorts, but you want to make sure you get paid. And in this whole run, <clears throat> we call this kings and queens. When when we get a solid down day. That then reverses the next day and comes eaten back into all of these traders who, you know, get, uh, especially if they missed yesterday. Now they try too hard today to go get lower. And it, this, as you can see, just by the laws of proportion, you know, this becomes uh, a retracement trade. And at 87, let's see, so I don't misspeak. At 87 and a quarter, we said in the monthly frame that is a a 60 percent bounce. Okay, from down here, that's a 60, and the 92s will be a, a 75 percent bounce. So my belief is that you know that 92 to 94 is our key resistance for today. Let's see, what do we have for T1? T1 is 92. So that's, uh, that would theoretically be our primary resistance today. Meaning if you got there, that's, that would be a higher odds than, than obviously T2. So anybody that's got the long side trade, I, I consider the primary trade done. The primary trade is from this morning when we said at 72 to 73, that probably will be support to take out the 81s. 
right? So I consider that to be our primary trade, meaning the morning trade on that gap close. And I said I'd hope we could contain I know 92s are available, but I hope that it would stall, say, in this 88 to 89 region. And just guessing, that's all. So the next level, you know, anybody that's looking to short, you've got to use that 92 to 94 stop zone. And this is just running the year. And, and we had no idea. With this move, this could have kept coming through here. So we just guess right. And here's your throwback line in there. And at 7.35 this morning, Mark trying to thin 72. Boys would love to jam the 81s. Not yet. We're talking about China then and so on. Really, really nice trade today. And this is jamming stops now. So usually, uh, my belief is for this first trade, You're better off taking your profits, using them to come back in a little bit to, to <clears throat> subsidize this swing, especially if you went long early, rather than thinking all one bite. And this 89 to 91 zone should be, you know, a breakout trade from the IB high should be the primary target anyways well done and if you've got a trailer up to you to keep it we're coming into lunch we can go it go to any high once we take out the previous day's high RTH and now we're eating into that range um, which basically it failed at 90, 75, 91 uh, yesterday. Rolex. It is a slingshot trade. We're ahead of ourselves. 10 minute chart of beauty. All right, my, my suggestion is anybody that's got this trade here. <clears throat> to the 90 zone, that was our next box. We said if you get to 90, you've done well. And anything above 88, I'm considering 88 to 89, I'm considering the gravy right now, timing-wise. Timing well done. <clears throat> and um, we've had two dead cat bounces, right? <clears throat> we had one the other day, and then today, where once we get above that 85, then we're, we can eat into the top half of this bar. And here's that 90.75 target we just <clears throat> just showed you in the spreadsheet. So, we're in a prayer above that. This is a squeeze trade. We should get a fairly nice reversal before we're done. And it'll take some time to cool off, but we're ahead of ourselves. All targets achieved.
92 uh, was all targets achieved. So just just a hair ahead of it. I'm looking at this 30-minute um, chart. All right, go look at uh, <clears throat> 92, 92.13 will be all targets achieved. He won. And the goal of the boys is to not allow the shorts to get position 